I'm talking about Nuke between Astralis and Vitality. Thing. You never quite know what Astralis you're going to get, be that in form or formation, what roster they're bringing to the table today. It's S Tag, two yeah. in game leaders. And the geese of Counter Strike. Exactly. I don't know how that ties in, but I'm going to agree with it because you said it confidently, Harry. Sometimes confidence is everything. Have Astralis got that confidence? They set up towards A. That main smoke's a fake. They're coming in through, through the position. Glaive. Moving in, Apex with his back turned, and it's a fast one for Astralis running through the door. Apex with first blood, Mizuta dropping one for the back of the site, and that bomb has been left in the open. Great stall for Apex, he's not giving them a gunfight. Mizuta not needed to flick, it shocks from above, laying down death, and Apex all this time has been tucked in the cubby in main. Oh dear, they're running Dupree down, and Vitality with the pistol round. So tell me about geese, Harry. Yeah, man. They're like, uh, if you can imagine, like a big duck, right? That's yeah. kind of the starting point. And from what I've gathered, they're pretty lethal, man. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go near a goose anytime soon. And Astralis are like geese, because you said you never know what formation they're in. And geese fly in like that V, but maybe they've got other ones. Maybe there's geese <laughs> intelligence out there. GI. Well, <laughs> down here, it's a flying start for Astralis as they head south to the border. And Mazai Wu can I get two before he's dealt with. In they flock. And well, now here's the rotation from Shox. Onto the rafters, laying down the pain, trying to get this round tucked to bed nice and quickly. Dupree with a tag nine. What's he able to do with it? Can he make this gun not look gross? Because right now he's failing and he swapped out onto the D. That's why I love Dupree right there. Right Drops choice. the tech, takes Love the good it. gun. Glaive can kill with anything. I believe in that to my very core. And he's opened up this two on two with the tech. A site plant now locked in for Astralis. And he's going to start to wrap in through the lobby, into ramp, and then into heaven. And that there could be absolutely huge for Astralis, especially with RPK just like trolling on the ladder. He's like, ha ha ha, I take 20 damage and I still win the round. But to do that, to have those bragging rights, you gotta still win the round. And Glaive, he's going up. He's going up behind our PK. Glaive, silent on the approach, and there it is. It all falls onto shocks in a 1v2, and with Heaven now secured for Astralis, he's packing his bags, he's getting out of there. Of course, Astralis win that round. That is phenomenal stuff, right? Glaive killing the vent rotate and just taking that room immediately. No hesitation about it. And then to have the balls to wrap ramp as well. Crazy plays for Astralis, finding their second round, or their first round, rather, in the second round. That forces the force right back in the hands of Vitality, who have nothing else to show. So we could save money for the AWP, but $1,400 everyone else is buying. Pelotas. That's the word we're looking for. Yeah, that is the word. And albeit neither of these teams speak Spanish, but nope. that is the word we're looking at. Nonetheless. Somehow, some way, we're talking about running it back. A good buy for Astralis. Not such a good buy. Not really a strong gun buy here. They do have a, uh, an Org. I was going to say Krieg, but what year is this? Org picked up off of Vitality. That's quite the weapon on the T side, as we saw Plopsky wield it back in train. Picked it up off of, I can presume, Carrigan, keen investor of the Org. I like the camp pass. Yeah, dude. They add like a nice little, a different look. And it's going to be outside for Astralis. Molly in secret, that keeps his heavy stack back. Vitality set three up to deal with this. They're trying to read into Astralis, but it's never easy as we know. Apex is going to flash him out to the yard. Magis, good luck with this one. He does dodge the flash, but can he dodge the bullets? No, RBK drops him, and now Astralis set their sights towards ramp and A, and then back to A again. Oh, but Zai Wu. Not going to give them the room. Ooh. 
And this round's already over. It is very, very quick and clean for Vitality. Oh, oh. Click and queen. <laughs> Click and queen. I do like... Yeah, I like I'm this gonna... ambient lighting. Yeah. It's like some sort of hue light setting. And quite frankly, I think that's OP. I have to give credit where credit's due, though. The man that introduced me to the hue lights, uh, you sound just like him. In fact, he might be your dad. And we're talking about Mr. Henry Greer. Okay, that's more Hugo then. Oh, well, in that case, it could be your uncle. I, I, I figured I figured it would be Henry. I know he's into his smart technology. Smart technology as opposed to the dumb technology. <laughs> yeah, like the Tech 9. No, that's smart tech. Uh, we call it acoustic technology. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we are back into it. Astralis on this T side, them Techninas. Woo! What's the vice got for us? He's got to lead the way with this AK, and he's going to be the first out into the ramp room. And boy, Shox is not going to be alone. They're all there for him. Device takes out Shox, but the spray, the spray, the trade, it's coming from Apex. It's coming from the side of hell. They're going to rush him, take an advance on him, try to net themselves some sort of armament to try to get this bomb down. Oh, timing. Oh, Zoe catches it. Of course he does. Glaive shot in the back of the head. Vitality have been so great at throwing like waves of defense against Astralis. Three in secret, three fighting ramp, even though it was, you know, two hell rotates that just came in so quickly that Astralis weren't ready for it. And now it's S tag and a one on two has gotten out the door. And smoke the plant if he wants or fake it and drop lower. He needs to do that now, though, because Mizuta is getting in position to watch the vent. And there it is. S-Tag drops in and wins the fight. B is open for him. Zaiwu very fast on the rotate. He can run, but S-Tag can hide behind the site where he gets the plant. Zaiwu now knows, and S-Tag's got to get out of there with a gunfight. And he oh. does. Wow. Takes down Zaiwu with conviction and puts a second round on the board for Astralis. But unfortunately, given the money situation for Astralis, does it look like they're going to be mustering too many rifles out of this one? Yeah, I mean, that's the nature, right? With this back and forth beginning. This, uh, this fight for survival going on between either side. And, you know, while they're going to be lacking the rifles, oh. there's also going to be uh, a bit of like bit of assistance from the fact that they've broken Vitality's money down as well. But Vitality do actually have the better buy here. And that's very subjective, but at least I think they do. And I'm the guy with the microphone. So, hey, yeah, Dupree man. coming out into the A site. Opens it up and now a bomb plant can come in. Apex is here with this nade. He's hoping to get a bit of damage through this smoke, but it doesn't find anything. Bomb now planted and Astralis in a four on four. Looking to finally take two in a row. Just trying to shoot guns back to his teammate in lobby device. He's dropped his. There it is. He picked up the M4. Boost up for Astralis. I like this in the post plant. They use the molly to take further control. RBK not expecting it. Neither the trade. Dupree gets a 2k. A 2k. And Mazuta comes in through the smoke in main. Two for him. Device trade. That picked up M4 doing everything for Astralis in the two on one. As now Apex has to save his weapon. A long way away. Dupree with three in the round. And Astralis with three. Rounds. Oh, that's a cool camera shot. It's not as cool as the guy that had his camera in his nostrils the last time we looked at the fan cam. That was, you know, I don't even know what it would be, like the medical procedure, so I'm not going to pretend to guess, but um, like one of those surgical cams. You can leave it there, Trey. <laughs> and I will. <laughs> and that's that. So Astralis, go up 3-2. That's not bad. Vitality, low money. You're not going to see any investment other than this scout. And by investment, it's just Apex. Doing Apex things. It might find some use as well. He's going to head towards outside, and so is all of Astralis. He's already got the info. They are in tow. They are waiting it out. They run to secret and now they walk back, hoping that they've given a sound cue over to Vitality. My, my. Big that's frame. pretty, yeah, that's pretty cool. They decide against it now and they start to drop this utility outside. And Vitality, they, they've fallen for it, like hook, line, and sinker. You know, they've got everyone down towards B with the exception of Apex. A site, that's just, that's just free, innit? Welcome. Hello. In Apex is here to greet them. And the four players coming up secret, they've got something to say as well. CT side for Vitality, and they're going to try to march right on up the stairs. 
Meanwhile, just a little spray there in the back. Just a, hey, man, don't KS me. Oh, dear. Good luck, Apex. Nah. Oh, oh no. he's got it in the bag, man. Look at this. Yeah, you will see Apex running scout over Zywoo. Zywoo actually doesn't like this scout. He's more of an AWP man for good reason. And so Apex dons that. Small sniper when needed. Yeah, taking some some love taps to the back, but don't kiss me, man. Just going through the motions. Ooh. Oh, well, there it is again. Chain link fence. Why is there? Yeah, I was gonna say, why fence. is there a chain link fence there? He's locked up. Yeah, we'll let <laughs> me out. Lock. All right, don't want to get yeah, DMCA'd but, on this. Yeah, screen. that's a good that's, idea. I mean, we're pretty close to yeah. Akon if I had to think about it. When our voices combine like that, Oof. that's harmony, man. That's what it is. Ooh. Look at this. Perfect harmony. Chaotic God here. Shocks pushing up outside. Quickly traded by Dupree. But on the back of Shocks getting so aggressive, they might not be ready for Masuta. That said, you've used the Glaive smoke against Glaive, and it works. It's his kryptonite. Doesn't even check it. Masuta looking for even more. He's doubled up, and outside belongs to him. Can he get a third? He can Ooh. get a third. And so for S-Tag now, it's the impossible task of reclaiming lost ground in this 1v3. Any of you two want to weigh in? Nope. Not much to wait for. There it is, though. Traded from RPK. He got out A for free, but Vitality, they take it back from him nice and swiftly. Ooh, wow. Look fast at this. forward Counter-Strike now. Time scale I mean, like, two. I respect that. Is That's that how information? should be played. Yeah, that fast. And you know what? B-hopping, all that. All right, so what's going on here? Um, oh, interesting. Right. Yeah. Well, it's always something entertaining going on in the fan camps. <laughs> I don't even know it's a look. Yeah, and perhaps we'll away. keep it that way. Yeah, away it would be. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, they crossed. Dupree doesn't realize. Shox has pushed down Glaive. I like the aggression. The vitality is showing outside so far. It's going to get traded though. Shox doesn't live too long in that position. Mizuta might though. Last time unchecked on the right of the red. Now he's on the left. And just 0 and 6. Slow start. This could be where they pick it up. Lining more smokes towards the yard. Him and Device. Laying them down. Apex, if he can draw attention before those smokes bloom, the Mizuta's position will be even more valuable, but he's going to push, and he could catch players with nades in hand. Oh, Magis moves away. The cover is not there. Device gets caught with grenades in hand, but Dupree trades. A lot of info there for Vitality. The bomb and the smoke's getting lined up. Of course, Device dropped. His smoke won't go, so it's only one now as Astralis try and move outside. Apex is still here. Man, and Astralis, they're just getting it dealt to them out in yard. The bomb now dropped, and S-Tag once again... Everyone on Astralis is now watching him play, play this 1v2 out. The pressure is there. And it's one of these moments where it's like, S-Tag, you always seem to be the last guy alive. So, you know, there's this guy called Zipnix on our squad. He's pretty good in clutches normally. You have a lot to live up to here, S-Tag. He's done it before. He certainly has. And there's still time, right? There's still 25 seconds for him, but he doesn't know the whereabouts of this second player. And that's the problem. Fires off a shot, sees the head, but RPK is so damn quick down in secret. He mops the round up nice and easy to tie us up at four to four. Yeah, money in a woeful state here for Astralis now. Could be much worse. They're just going to have to maybe get themselves some pistols and save in this round. But albeit T sided nuke, Hugo, what's your diagnosis? I don't want to call you Doc, Hugo. I mean, that... Ah, my name works. Yeah, you can just go with it's that. It's like normal Hugo, I guess. Yeah, dude, that, that works too. Regular um, normal Hugo. You can just say Hugo. I mean, however you want to say it. You know, I, this is fine. This is a, it's a good start for Vitality, honestly. Like, we know Astralis have these strong T-sides on Nuke. But, uh, yeah, this is... It's just been back and forth. No one's had any money. No one's maintained economy. Glaive, though, the one gun outside doing the work. He's been dropped in a few rounds out here. So that's an opening kill that will give Astralis a lot of room towards B. S-Tag took the bomb with a Glock down Ben. So a risky move, but it worked out and now it's that's so important considering glaive got this outside pick because they can join him in b very methodical but no one's lower yet vitality i don't think they know this bomb is is down they may know a player made it but they didn't see the package or they would have sent rotations down there apex still looking for lurkers his feet though getting spotted oh dupree wait for the time to strike he hits twice but not the kill apex lucky man gets out alive
Oh. Not for long, though. Device is there to put a stop to it. And Shox is aggressing, but not oh, ready dear. for Dupree. There's still more players Ooh. here. And so Dupree only ever sees one. Gets the information, at least, that they are back in the lobby. And for Vitality, even though they're only up against pistols here, it might just be a save on the basis of numbers. They look at it, they say four is more than two, and we're a long way away. They also have no idea what they're up against, right? What they've seen Deagles, they've seen an AK on Glaive, they never saw the bomb, and S Tag has just a Glog. So, yeah, that's actually a very sad reality where, uh, like, it's a really winnable round for Vitality, but they just don't know. But yeah, at the end of the day, numbers do make the difference there, and, and four and two. Even with a Glock, you know Astralis would have had some sick post plants if they thought Vitality were going for it. Damn. This is so back and forth. This is great. We we spoke to S-Tag after um, Astralis' last game against FaZe, and he talked about how, you know, the, one of the cool things about having this seven-man roster right now is, is the fact that his, their opponents don't know what roster they're bringing into the game until soon before, so it makes it kind of hard to prep and practice. It's like an unpredictability, you know? Exactly. It's like a randomness of it, almost. And that plays into this series here, because while we saw these teams face each other at Cologne, Astralis won that game, it was Bubski, and S tag. Well, now Glaive's back in. So Vitality in their head, they can't even base a lot of what they learned from the last matchup, despite the maps being similar, if not uh, the same. And you know, I don't know that we've had the complete opportunity because you know, last time we talked to S tag, he didn't really allude to any of the answers that we were looking for in terms of how and who is going to be playing and how that's all calculated, who decides it. But surely. Someone will slip up at some point and tell us <laughs> the information we need to know. I don't think it's going to be one of the players, right? It's in their best interest yeah. to not put that information to the public. And that's why we got to get Zonic on the line and ask him straight to the face. You, you look at a team like Team Liquid, right? You think about how good they were at Vertigo. Well, the other day, 100 Thieves, you could just tell that they did their homework when they beat them in that Vertigo matchup. And doing something of that same caliber versus a team like Astralis, a team it was already very hard to and e strat to begin with, right? Like, why do you think they were the best for so damn long? Well, now it's even harder because it's like there's just so many combinations of teams that you actually could be up against under this Astralis branch. Oh, now, dear. that flash is good and Device never trades. He kind of just sacrifices Magisk in, the, in, in his own... I was going to say his own interest. That sounds awful. But basically, now it's allowed in this deep flank outside the Vitality they didn't have any idea of. And he does get spotted, but he deals with it well. And Device, oh, doubling boy. up, has kept this in a three-on-three. How does he get the second one? I don't know. Mizuta might have the drop on one close door, but s -Pack reads it well. It will be traded quickly. Vitality have been very good about getting these trades. Now they need to do the same to Glaive outside on his own. Low HP. No one's watching it. Apex has his eyes on main. His RPK's back is open, but he moves to the vent and gets out scot-free. Very close, very safe. Glaive, with heaven in mind, he wants to go up. Yeah, I wish we were scot-free. Harry. Time to shine, buddy. It's going all the way around. B is open. There's no one there. Vitality or double A. So even the heaven wrap would have been somewhat predicted. This at bare minimum gives the bomb plant to Glaive. And not like Astralis is struggling with cash right now, but that little bonus, that little influx is nice. Guarantee of something in this round. Considering Glaive is low, right? I think it's fair to assume this should be Vitality's round as long as they play things smart. But Glaive, he's got a bit of a head on his shoulders. Good luck to him. Molly at Decon. That's going to buy him even more time. And it's given up the position of one of these guys at least. What can he do? Arm with the org. There's the peak. Oh. And they line up. Glaive, he actually wins it. 23 Easy. points of health in the clutch. You all knew it. All right. Look at him, man. <laughs> Look at Glaive. Look at that smile. Those glasses, that hair, the beard. We've all missed it. New look, Glaive. Better looking than ever right now in the server and out of it. It's great to see. Who won the last 1v2 from there? Was it... I, the Might have been S. Horace comes to mind, but I don't know... No, like in that spot where they oh, line up spot? in the door. I've seen the same clutch before. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking wrong. It does happen from time to time. Yeah. I was thinking we raised the stakes around here a little bit, Hugo. Okay. Uh, but not for us. Only Ooh. for Harry. I like right, that. why? How? Well, I'm thinking like if Astralis lose this series in the last segment, Harry will eat two spoonfuls of chili pepper. Right. And so what do I get if they... If they you just get to win. be celebratory. I just don't get to you, do anything. You get three. <laughs> you get three if they win. <laughs> Well, you know how much you love it. As tempting as it is, 
You know, we'll discuss this in a bit. He's trying to stall it, Trace. Of course he is. What do you think, Twitch chat? What do you think out there on the Twitter sphere? Uh, Let's go ahead Chili's and get behind isn't, this. Isn't like the pinnacle of comedy it's made out to be. No, but I figure... Sometimes people go, oh, that's hot. And then they stand there yeah. with their eyes watering, and it's like, ha, 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 ha. He yeah, ate the hot food. I think you're going to turn more and more orange, which is exciting to watch. And maybe profusely sweat. I'm ginger. Makeup. I'm not a chameleon. Like, what do you think this is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Well, at least you've got a good soul about you. Wow, that hurts, but okay. His tag's on a Mac 10, but he's not made the vent dive. I don't know if that was by design or not. He looked interested. Double flash uh. ramp, vitality push, and device wait in the lobby. Shocks for the kill. Does he go any further? Doesn't matter. Dupree stops him. There's a second man there, and I like how he's playing passive. That might be Astralis boded into a false sense of security. No, don't worry. They mollied it. They know. They're ready for it. It won't hit Mizuta. At least Astralis shows some awareness there, and there could be more in store. And Mizuta might make the move now that the Molly's faded. He might need to because the rest of Astralis are moving outside. It's only S Tag lurking lobby. When we saw Bubs, uh, Bubski and S Tag play, it was Bubski in this position. Well, now it's S Tag on his own, hanging out, having a good time, finding clutches left and right. He flashes for device. They won't go secret. Or at least he won't. Checking the garage, clearing out the back, and his S tag above the roof. So ready. We're seeing that spot play more and more nowadays. It's so sweaty. And Vitality walk right into it. Advantage for Astralis. Now they can go wherever they want. Well, Harry, just a couple rounds now from the Chili Pepper Challenge. Hashtag Chili that. Challenge. Great. I mean, if 2020 wasn't crazy enough, we got another curveball oh, well, for you. Here is a guy eating <laughs> some mild heat now. Mild, he calls it. Three spoonfuls later. Will he be saying the same thing? Also trying to interview the winning team. Let's find out. <laughs> Vitality are three lower. They made a gamble again. Astralis is so good at, uh, I was going to say faking, but like that wasn't even a fake. Yeah, they crossed the bomb to secret, but as we know, that means nothing nowadays. So many teams back out as they do. Vitality, last time they were baited into a heavy lower rotate off the back of Astralis's fake footsteps behind the smokes and sneak back to the lobby. It wasn't even that this time. Vitality try and make a gamble and it's not the right call, but they will be looking back into the site. No, somewhat. Not for the retake, Cywood just leaves. And so another round for Astralis, handed to them on a plate. The heaven flank is perfect. And everyone else comes in late. Oh boy, better run, that bomb. Yeah. At least Vitality keep three, right? They, they keep some money intact. They can reinvest, but Astralis, man, putting up the the battle that we expected in this series of course and i do like the vibe we get from astralis um you know with s tag playing alongside of them i'm i'm digging that vibe mainly because it's a vibe of of sort of dominance that we know astralis to have which is albeit kind of cool kind of seems like normality like, they look like they're having a lot of fun as well right that and too, like yeah. that's a scary idea that like these guys are capable of having a good time outside <laughs> yeah, and, like, and just smiling winning. yeah but it's, just enjoying whoa, it's scary because you know like you look at a team like Fnatic, well they play their best cs when everyone's having a laugh and you know you, you can't help but feel confident if everything's kind of funny you know like it, it's a very weird thought to have but that's what it feels like happens and Astralis, you know, like even when, even when they make calls that aren't as masterful as perhaps they used to be, oh. they, they just do it with conviction. They do it with yeah. confidence and they do it well. This A play looking to come in, but Zaiwu only good for one at the end of things. Apex back in the site gets bested as well. Magic's in a very rough spot, but he's uh. somehow been able to get by. Now this is a man in main and he's just heard the M4 firing off to give that away. And he also knows about shocks up here in heaven. So a chance at a plant for Magisk at the very, very least. Apex has gone down secret to try and come up the vent. Yeah, two on one here. Magisk going to post plant. 79 HP, he's got a flash, and surely Apex, he oh. has a window of opportunity to see him. But that window is smashed right on the fingers of Magisk, who does ultimately lose the round. We see Vitality go up to five, and Astralis on eight. Apex ladder shoots him. What a of mad course. lad. Yeah, absolute mad lad, because I ain't... No, 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 no. That ain't for the normal human. No one climbing up that thing. That bang. 
Keep that thing on me. Yeah, you can do it better than me. I won't try it. Nah, man, you got a pretty good southern accent. Like a southern bureaucratic accent type thing. Oh, fan cams. Are we in someone's bathroom in the top <laughs> left? Uh, uh, you know, maybe, but I think the uh, the animated GIF of himself, I, I think that's, you know, applause worthy almost. Either way, here we go. We're back at it. Eight to five. This half is coming to a close almost as quick as it started. Dupree taking a ton of damage down to 14 HP, but he was able to drop in the vents. And that might just be the lead way that they need. I say that in Zywoo. Finds a kill with his AWP. Further developing problems for Astralis. Now are a little bit split up. But they do need a pick, and there you have okay. it. Apex gets tagged up, and things have started to shape back up in a shape that Astralis would like them to be. Yeah, they've completely lost lobby, though, and that's going to cause some problems for Astralis. It kind of forces their hand into a B play. But they can still wrap heaven, all right, and go towards main and try and go into this A site. But with lobby already taken, Vitality have so much information to go off of, and they're even boosting RPK back into heaven now as a bit of a contingency in case it does come in towards this upper site. Not going to be the case, though. Astralis down through secret they go. Apex and Sharks already in B. Very preemptive, thanks to that lobby control being taken. Oh. Well. Do you like the boost there? I mean, the idea of the yeah, boost no, makes the sense. boost is yeah. sick, but then now Apex is like, I just heard them. They're here. Yeah, yeah, probably a lot of them, and that's pretty scary stuff. And Mizuta's cleaning outside as well. This is all about to come, uh, you know, full full focus, full circle for Vitality as they start to drop through the vent. Astralis still have that control, though. Shots hidden, one down, bomb drop. Dupree won't be able to get the spot. And the spam somehow keeps him pressured enough for Magic to get the kill from the site. Mizuta on his outside wrap is now in secret. Dupree with a bomb out, could get pinched. 10 seconds, got to stick it, and he doesn't. Does take one with him. Device in a one-on-one, -on -one. four seconds, he's right below him. Oh! oh! Oh, not today. Wow. Whoa. That was so close. It was so uncomfortable. You do look at that and you say, wow, unbelievable end of the round right there. Time considered everything just lined up for that moment, and it does not go Debbie's way. How do Astralis Bad. even make that close? Like, yeah. that's Vitality's round, but Astralis make it a one-on-one. -on -one. Look, look at this. Masuta's like, whoa, and he had to hit that. Whoa. Sure Vice was about to yeah. send in his, like, phase tryout tape and everything, man, with the little 180. <laughs> you heard it here first. Harry Russell, as predicted. Tech I'm 9 now, fast in the vents. That's what we like to see in the last round of play. Apex, already weary that they're coming down into the decon. Mm. And rightfully so. Look at the pace that Astralis is setting right now. Blistering almost. They're not slowing down, albeit this is not the most optimal buy of this last round of the half. And it certainly is showing. <laughs> Three kills in quick succession there for Vitality. We're about to put their seventh up. Oh, I no. say that, the Tech Nina. That could have been a big problem if they had the bomb right. Device is outside. He cleared heaven. He cleared main. Vestag could go up the vent. That could be the round for Astralis, but Vitality have rotated heavy B off the back of having this package. RPK is close, and Shox is moving in to trade. Vestag waiting on Device, though. This is the big wrap round that no one, Vitality aren't expecting. Yeah, no one's actually holding for this. And so, oh, okay, Apex is, thank goodness. He's looking at ramp. And so Device shouldn't really get to play into the round as a result. S-Tag now, this is a fight that's just unwinnable. Oh, yeah. And Device gets naded out right at the end. We are as close as we can possibly be to being split right down the middle here at the end of this first map. Eight to seven. One round separates these two teams and there's still a second half yet to come. So don't go anywhere. Why would you want to miss it? I'm on top of the world right now. I don't even write no more now. And him, y'all, yeah. can't you go yeah. over? I'm on my country commando. Yeah. Pulling up with clips extendo. That's no game Nintendo. I don't ever run out of ammo. I'm 
Gon' need me a benzo. No fake friends, no pretend. No. Think I might have found my ten. Oh. Post it up in my ten. Oh. Oh. Watch your man go dumb, go stupid. If you're the best, then prove it. Oh. Got no words, be quiet, stay moving. I got a bag, won't lose it. Oh. Watch your man go dumb, go stupid. If you're the best, then prove it. Oh. Got no words, be quiet, stay moving. I got a bag, won't lose it. Lose it. Get substituted. You're not recruited. Cause you're too damn scared to use it. The truth is, you're useless. What? I'm ruthless. Yeah, I've proved this. Yeah. Keep capping, I'ma leave you toothless. What? You're so dumb to choose this. Yeah. Ain't gone out sad. I make it work. I'm in my bag. That's every purse on my back. Is that your girl? She got it. She make it twerk. And why you mad? I got her first. You say you rap. You got a verse. I say the swag. You probably hurt. Back to the lab. You gotta search. I'm on my country commando. Yeah. Pulling up a clip, six stando. <laughs> That's no game Nintendo. I don't ever run out of ammo. I'm gon' need me a benzo. No fake friends, no pretend. No. Think I might have found my ten. Oh. Post it up in my ten. Oh. Oh. Watch your man go dumb, go stupid. If you're the best, then prove it. Oh. Got no words, be quiet, stay moving. I got a bag, won't lose it. Oh. Watch your man go dumb, go stupid. If you're the best, then prove it. Oh. Got no words, be quiet, stay moving. I got a bag, won't lose it. Why are these boys so stupid? stupid. Kind of me out now, I'm kind of my money. I'm probably gonna cop me a new wrist. Y'all gonna think I'm a nuisance. No sound, no me, who this? Yep, I made some improvements. Me and the gang been bowling. Your shawty gonna think we're the coolest. LSA say we got clips. We bout to make it a movie. I make a hit I can't miss. Damn, the charts might sue me. The way I be stacking my chips. Probably the bank gon' sue me. Watch your man go dumb, go stupid, cause your man's can't fool me. my country. Commando, yeah. pulling up a clip six stando. That's no game Nintendo. I don't ever run out of ammo. I'm gon' need me a benzo. No fake friends, no pretend. No, yeah. think I might have found my ten. Oh. Yeah. Post it up in my ten. Oh. Yeah. Um. Watch your man go dumb, go stupid. If you're the best, then prove it. Uh. Got no words, be quiet, stay moving. I got a bag, won't lose it. Uh. Watch your man go dumb, go stupid. <laughs> This might actually be my favorite tune of the entire thing. Other than Sarah, of course. How can we ever, drunk, you know, get away from that <laughs> Yeah, my <one>? Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, why are you leaving me? Yeah, Sarah already left, man. She's out. But we're back, and that means it is time for the second half of play, which is what we're going to do right now. Astralis Vitality, half number two. Numero dos. Let it play, baby. You know what? Just play the whole round. That would be cool. I'd be yeah, down. Let's with go it. for it. Let's, let's go. try and incorporate the music, and it's already gone. So there we go. That just shows <laughs> how much. They... Oh, it's back, and here it is. Sarah, the ramp play denied for vitality out of the gate. I like this. This is how it should always be. We need to use music more in casts. S tag getting pressured. Can he hold his ground? They are coming his way. So nice. S tag feeling the heat, bested by Apex, and now the B site falls into enemy hands. I just feel calmer with Sarah here, you know? Oh, well, she's good. Big headshots, though. Look at that. In succession, I say that. It's just RPK. Le tank. Let's see what he's got in the tank. Doesn't have the bomb in hand. In fact, it's going to be Glaive and Magist to try to thwart this bomb plan attempt. Ooh. And there's a one tap from Le tank. Makes it look easy. Not let easy. That would be. Oh, taps the bomb now. Unsure of where Majis could be coming from, but he is coming from ramp with the CZ. Should be a pretty easy oh, plan. Right no. in the open. Now oh. the jig is up. Now RPK knows, and he can fully commit to this bomb plant. And that's exactly what's going to happen. One on one, just going for it. Straight down the pipe, straight down the middle. It's Majisk. He does have that CZ, and RPK does have the headshot. So really, at the end of the day, if Sarah was here, that probably wouldn't have went the way it did. But it did, didn't it? Oh, this game's heating up like two to three spoonfuls of chili flakes, and I couldn't be more excited. Vitality. Oh, yes. With another pistol round. They found the first on the CT side, but Astralis' force put things into disarray. Back and forth was the start of this map. You know, Hugo, I just don't think that we clarified this at the beginning of the map. Those are serving spoons, by the oh, way, yeah. of of chili pepper. What, not tablespoons, not teaspoons, serving spoons. Chili flakes. Serving spoons of chili flakes. Buckets. Bucket. <laughs> 
Glaive in the smoke outside. Magis is drawing them in, but they're sneaking down. And actually, Astralis don't know. They've yet to see a thing. They're just guessing, they're gambling, they're hoping. And they are right, because Magis is just going to 1D Gar PK through the smoke. Device drops it, and now Vitality back on up into the outside that is full of Danes. Magis is still here, and the Deagle Ooh. delivers another. As now this kind of crawls to a bit of a halt, but Device goes through the secret smoke. Look at it coming on alert. Zywoo is waiting. Ooh. Device ain't going to go any further forward. Smart man. Slows it down. Team Vitality, they're waiting for Astralis to give them fights, but these fights will not come their way. It's going to fall to Vitality to seek them out. And seek them out, they shall. Down here towards Secret, they go. Device been waiting patiently. Now, I feel like this angle always gets checked. And by Zaiwu, it's definitely getting checked. There it is. The kill onto Device. The B site now. The object of Vitality's desire. Bit of noise there made. The Glaive, I think they were too far away to hear it as now he slows right down. He's hidden up here on the rafters, trying to deny the window play, but he gets damage and nothing more. Dupree and S-Tag left in this one in a two on three, but the double doors, they've been left wide open. Were you born in a barn, Zywu? And now here comes the push. There's Masuta dropped. Shox gets the trade, but S-Tag, no one's closed the door. They're not about privacy, and S-Tag's just peeping on in. As now Zywu all alone, the nade could end it, and it will. Astralis steal that round away. Yeah, dude, S-Tag, he is a full-fledged Astralis member with his utility, and that's a great clutch as well back-to-back -back SMG behind the doorway. Even though Vitality go back and shut it, it gets opened right back in their face, and they've been dealing with ramp rotates, so not ready for two in secret. Astralis will hop, uh, hop behind them in hot pursuit. And they will take another force. What a surprise. What a shocker. Both pistols to Vitality, and forces for Astralis looking damn good. Back to a force from the Frenchmen themselves as the economy is stripped from below their feet. And they're going to fall right into this B-bomb site. First, though, they got to get past S-Tag, and he's got a Molly with their name on it, ready to go right down. He's got the fight instead, and he's going to have to drop Molly in his retreat so they can't chase him down. Gives time for Device to set up in Hell's side. They're going to try and rush him. Oh, boy, he hears these footsteps, and so he tucks safe. He lets them get up the ladder if they want, calling that they could be A. He's on a flank of his own, shooting at the feet as they go, and the bomb falls into the site. Device takes one, but just can do three, holding on to heaven. They know that multiple players are in this position, so Astralis are not worried about the lobby anymore, and they have no need to be. It's theirs. Mazuta in a clutch. Good damage, but no kill. And Astralis are going to find another round. Ten on the defuse. And loads of time to scavenge weapons as well. I like that from Device. Like, you couldn't pull it in your pug because your team would get mad. Wait, why are they in heaven? I swear to God. But, you know, he, he comes out over, and so Astralis immediately set up for that contingency. They set up with their backs towards Squeaky, looking at the heaven, and even though Vitality get, like, three players right up into that position, they're immediately mowed down. A bomb plant is all they muster, and an eco following that. I'm not going to lie here. Dupree was looking a little evil with that ominous yeah the red the suits it man it does i i it's the grin that really did it for me that's huh? the thing like dupree could be one of those like charismatic but still deeply evil geniuses and that's not a reference to the na csgo organization i just mean that in like the comic book sense of it of course it would do. suit him you know maybe it would muzu to him that's a bit of a stretch there, Trace. Yeah, but we're going to find out because he's still alive, albeit 7 HP, no armor. Yeah, like man, maybe this Deagle's about to pop off. Maybe you've called it. I mean, you've read the script. I trust you. <laughs> Vice holding ramp. There's two players already out. He doesn't know this. It's RPK and Shocks. This is the weirdest ramp fight you'll ever see. S-Tag is like creeping up. You don't believe it. And he might get shot in the back of the head. Ooh. Oh dear. Down goes Device, but there's S Tag with the trade in a very big way. And for Masuta and Zaiwu, they're sneaking back into ramp, the area that Vitality once had, but they have no longer. Yeah, this is basically a stranglehold by Astralis at this point. Don't let them line up. Oh, wait, they're going to do it anyway. Masuta and Zaiwu. 
But this is what we've been waiting for, Trace, right? This is the, the big pie. I mean, you know, Hugo, these are those moments that I just don't think anyone's going to forget. No one at all. Especially not Astralis. Looking for another 2-0. They did it to Vitality back in Cologne in the group stage. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at Hugo on the monitor on the left. Did you see that? Oh, I, I missed They it. had their whole monitor turn sideways with a picture of you as the background. It's terrifying. Wow, dude. That's cool, Hugo. You made it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, if, if that's what class is, I'll take it. Yeah, man. Shout out. My one biggest fan. Cheers, man. Turns out that was your cousin, and then you just didn't tell us. Fair enough. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, missed shot there from Device. Almost able to find Zaiwu. Look now, a little bit of outside control. Still contested with Glaive being in the big garage, but there's just enough wiggle room out here to walk right into Device's crosshair. And that crossfire with those crosshairs proves to be fatal. Yeah, man, Vitality just got wrecked. They they boosted up, Glaive mows down too, and the boost finds nothing. They drop off immediately. The orbs are, are trained on the smokes that are fading. Vitality stuck out in the open. Boy, oh boy, this is a lethal Astralis. Oh dear, how do you get past this one? Three for Glaive, two for Device, and Astralis, 12 to eight. A near flawless CT side so far. They've only lost the pistol and they don't plan on losing them anymore. The pistols are on the other side. Vitality bringing them towards the lobby. Glaive has pushed, swap positions in the smoke. The spray for Dupree is actually really good. Lots of damage and he gets out alive despite being flashed. But just desperately <laughs> holding Mouse One and what somehow, some way, lives to tell the tale. He's like a malfunctioning sentry turret, but he still hits his mark eventually. Look at this. Look at this madness. Just holding the left click. Where are they? There he is. 13 to 8. And Astralis looking to pick up their map pick. And this next round could decide a lot in that way. As a toe in the line between map point. And a victory here. Ruined vitality. Zaiwu back with the AWP. No armor behind it again. And the Molotov going to disrupt these outside smokes. To say that there is a gap in it is an understatement. It's more like there's a smoke in the way. Oh, I can't even think of a smart way to do it. Device nails the shot on a Zaiwu. Glaive in with another. And Dupree now emerging out of the vents. He's going to just push the issue in main. Masuta hasn't heard this. And that's a free kill. Dupree even spots them hopping down. It's another for Dupree. And he's putting on a show. Apex looks to go through, but Magisk also another smoke kill. There are three, no, sorry, four smoke kills in that round. Only one enemy being seen in the entirety of it for Astralis. Just filth. Oh boy, what? Oh. Okay, I see it now. Yeah. Hugo, look at that. That's definitely you, man. Now, I wonder if he changed that. definitely yeah, you. Yeah, Hugo, can you confirm that, right. that? Yeah, that is me. Glaive, is he waiting in the vent? Because Vitality might be coming right down. They flashed out A. They're actually just going to try and overtake the site. Majeska from the heart. He's got a lot of directions to look in, and he'll look in the wrong one. Mizuta blinds him, but grabbing a Galil and getting out alive, that's like best case scenario of him right now. Stuck in another one on four. Boy, oh boy, Astralis, they just don't give you any room, do they? He's going to try and come back through the hut. He won't come back through the hut. And while this might have been like very, very close at the end of the first half, right? An 8-7 scoreline, Vitality, they were able to win the pistol round in this second half, and then that's it. They didn't get the conversion. Astralis snatched it back with that force, and since then they've been winning everything. We got like a whole Astralis party going on there. Well, we know they show up in full force to events, i.e. the Berlin Major, for example. A lot of Astralis fans there. In fact, an entire side of an arena, Astralis fans. Maybe because they were gonna win, maybe not, who knows. 
Ooh, device. Oh, he's realized Beagle out. Shox runs him down. That's ridiculous. Free orb for Shox, but Dupree's push lobby. He's on a flank. How fast is this round? Finally, it might be one for Vitality as they found an opening on ramp. It may have cost them somewhat, but they've come out on top. Four on two, but never count Astralis out. Shox holding a tiny oh. angle and he flicks <laughs> up at the perfect time. Magisk all alone. Zywu is holding for this ramp flank. And he's going to get a good timing onto it. Vitality, they finally break the silence. Woo. Silence of what? I think it was uh, seven rounds in a row for Astralis. Now, as is becoming a bit of a staple here, there were three players with max cash moving into this round for the Danes. Feels like every time we're seeing them at the minute, it's happening at least once a series. So why not double orb? Screw it. Get it. And they have S tag and device. We've seen everyone pick up this AWP recently. Almost everyone. Even triple orbs at times for Astralis. Smokes outside there wide this time. That early molly thrown towards red will do nothing as Vitality looks to put the pressure on. Flash through his glaive again. So aggressive off this util. He's going to find one. Dupree trades one for one as I would take him down with the orb. Apex sneaks into main. No one knows about this. That just with his side turn. He's going to get uh, blindsided. RPK out the hard catch and glaive going above. And now it's down to the double orb that might have to retake A. Not a good position to be in. Yeah, that's that old saying about double orbs in the retake. Yeah, what's that? It's just not ideal. Ah. Classic proverb. It's like using a hammer for open heart surgery. You know, hammers are great, they're versatile, but... I mean, how would you know it's not going to work there, Harry? I bet you could you ever open played a... Surgeon Simulator? No. That's how I know. I bet you could open a heart with a hammer. That's, uh... Yeah, but it's about putting it back together again. <laughs> it's not about breaking the hearts always. My God. Here you go, the heartbreaker. Gosh, he's going to have to tell somebody to take him off their desktop. Anyway, speaking of heartbreaking, Astralis now just five rounds from tying this one up, but we'll see because it is just one round to win this map. Vertigo That's where we shall go as this concludes. Yeah, Vitality, they don't want to go down without a fight, though. They don't want to give up just yet. Couple of rounds on this T side, and while it took them time to find them, with their backs up against 15, knowing that at any point this could slip away and you could head to the second, they're going to give it their all. Five rounds? That's all that separates them. Glade with the early smoke. It's going to go aggressive. Or not. Looks to throw the nade. Flashes above. Main roof Molotov. Don't know if that was meant for there. Glaive using the smoke to get down to secret as well. Oh. That's not the start Vitality won. It falls to a silence now. A man down and Magis has slipped away as soon as he's taken that kill. No trade available. Vitality trying to cross outside again. Device has brought the orb. If there's any gaps or any jumps, he will punish. Oh, Glaive, he's given himself like a little makeshift one way here. He does duck down into secret. Vitality, though, they're not looking to end there. Or at least Apex wasn't. The rest of the gang might be. As they try and cross behind these smokes, Glaive falling back. Device, oh. not device, Sai Wu, rather, sneaking over the top. Hops down with the AWP. Glaive knows they're coming his way. Gets the info, drops the molly, runs back, buys time. Knows that there's at least two here for Vitality. And so all the attention of Astralis is down towards this secret area right now. There's still been no rotations. They're putting a lot of trust in Glaive at this lower site. It's the trap card. I mean, they, they had the, the vision outside from hell onto secret. So basically at this point, it's got to be a full commit. There's no time to go anywhere else. Glaive going to put himself towards the control room. Dupree, easy. S-tag, easy. And so is the victory right there. Astralis pick up map number one of the series. We're going to go to Vertigo after this, and we're going to try to settle the score a little bit more. Will Vitality show up? That's the big question. We'll be right back.